Howdy folks. In this video, we will look at a braille enabled smartwatch called the dot watch, which you can see to the left there. And in real life, it looks like this. It has a braille enabled display. Uh, and it's meant for people who are blind and deaf blind. And uh, just like any other smartwatch, it does a lot of things. It packs quite the punch and it's also very visually appealing. You can see that it has a minimal yet very aesthetically pleasing design and uh, through its braille display and of course the red uh, ring right there, which is, you know, it adds um, a, a touch of like, you know, aesthetically pleasing look. Anyway, so, so this watch right here has many features that can be used by blind and deaf blind fe uh, people on a daily basis. So let's see what's, what's, what this watch is all about. We'll look at some of the features that this watch has. For example, how to look at what time it is, how to use the stopwatch, the timer, and a few other things. Let's start with the very basic function, which is how to see time. Uh, currently, you can see that none of the braille dots are raised. And that's because it's currently in uh, in standby mode, which means that it's just you know saving its energy. It's not doing anything. If I were to look at the time, what I would do is I would press this button on the top, which is called the select button. So I press it, and immediately it shows me the current time. So you can see that it is actually nine forty six. Right, so that's what's displayed on the Braille watch, on the Braille display. If I press the button one more time, now what it does is it shows me the current seconds and I press it one more time and that's the, the current date right there. So you can see that it is 12, zero and nine. Or is it eight? Yeah, sorry. It's so it's December eighth, which is the current date for today. So as you press these uh, this button, it cycles through the current uh, hour and minutes and seconds, and then the current date. So uh, that's as that's a very easy operation just to see uh, today's date and time. Once you're done, if there's no activity, it goes back into standby mode, or you can press the home button again for the, the braille dots to just sit down and uh, the watch just goes back into standby mode. Now, in order to do so, what you do is you turn the ring three times counterclockwise. Okay, so I'm gonna go one and two and three. So now the braille display says uh, TIMR for timer. And uh, in order to set the duration of the timer, I press the select button and then uh, I can go digit by digit by clicking or by turning the uh, ring again, or I can touch the touch sensor right below the second and third uh, cells and increment the digits 10 at a time. So once I've done that, I uh, just press select and then the timer starts and counts down till the duration of the timer. Uh, there's a similar uh, stopwatch function as well. So instead of uh, turning the ring three times, you turn it just twice. And uh, when you do that, you you see stop on the display. And then, you know, you just press the select button and the start, stopwatch starts. And then uh, you, you stop it whenever your job is done and you see how long it took to, you know, for your activity to complete. Uh, and these are handy functions when especially, you know, you might be cooking something or you're doing uh, your homework or you're, you know, going for a walk around the lake and you wanna see how long it takes. So that is where these kinds of functions can come in really, really handy. Uh, notifications is interesting because what it's really doing is it's bringing in practically every notification from your phone on to the watch. And if you haven't seen them on uh, on your phone yet, they will be stored in the watch. 
uh, but you have if you have already seen them then they'll be erased from the watch but the idea is that uh, the watch can hold up to 50 notifications for you that are coming from your phone so uh, in order to no uh, see the notifications what you do is you turn the ring four times so you go um, let me just turn this on. Uh, you go one and two and three and four. Okay, so uh, on the screen, it, on the display, the Braille display, it says N O T I. And uh, in order to get inside the notifications menu, you uh, press the select button again. And it starts by telling you how many notifications you have. So you can see that uh, it's telling me I have one notification, the number one. And then if I press start again, it will show me what that notification is. So it starts by telling me uh, the name of the app from where it's coming, and then uh, the sender, the contents, and the timestamp of the notification. So uh, as I go through this, so I can either app, the, the Dart Watch app on the phone, and through that, another very uh, helpful feature as well. So when you go into the Dot Watch app, you will see that you know it has certain areas within the app, and then uh, right off the bat, it tells you how much charge the battery has here. So you can see that my watch has sixty percent uh, charge left in it. Uh, if I go into the clock area, you can see that I can set an alarm uh, if I want, and in fact, the the watch allows me to set up to ten different alarms. I can also set hourly alert if I want to be notified, just like a chime. So every hour I get some sort of a vibration indicating that it's the top of the hour. Uh, functions is where uh, I can do certain other things as well. Uh, one thing I want to show you is the memo. So I can create memos within the app and uh, access them on the watch. Find my dot watch is what I really want to show you. So, so this is where you know. So, all of us have tendencies to just misplace our items, right? So, if by by chance we lose our watch, you know, it's somewhere in the house. We don't know where it is. Uh, I can just come here and I can press start. And when I press start, the watch actually starts vibrating. So, uh, I can follow the vibration, just see where it's coming from, and go and locate. Uh, my my watch and once I find it I just press any button and stop the vibrations now similarly vice versa right so I may actually just lose my uh, phone as well and I, I, I happen to not find it so if that happens what we can do on the watch is we can press both the home and the select button uh, together twice okay so when we do that the phone actually makes a sound and that helps us locate where the phone is so if I press the buttons one two so you heard the sound right so uh, when I press the buttons uh, it, the phone makes a sound and that helps me locate uh, the phone last but not the least uh, if we go into the settings area and this is where you know, so I can do a few other things. So uh, I go into the dot watch area and I, this is where I have certain other settings uh, that I can uh, change. And then I can also access the user guide. And speaking of user guides, actually, um, so the watch comes with a very minimal uh, user guide as well. It has some extremely simple instructions, very, very minimal. Uh, I would strongly recommend not following only this. Okay, so either go to the, uh, the, the user guide in the app or on the website, go to dot watch and then, um, you know, so go to support and from here, go to the dot watch manual and definitely, definitely read it. Uh, there is uh, definitely a, a learning curve here. You will have to get familiar with the watch and its functions. And uh, so because of that, you would want to follow the instructions and not just blindly uh, get into the, uh, the into the watch. So the user guide, I would highly recommend either through uh, the app or on the website.
So in conclusion, the, the Dot Watch is, you know, it's not just any other watch. It, it has, uh, of course, it has watch-like features, but then it does so many other things that a blind or a deafblind person can definitely take advantage of as they are, uh, you know, performing their day-to-day -day chores or just, you know, uh, doing their things. And, and also, uh, besides the Braille mode, this watch also has a tactile mode, and that's meant for people who are uh, not familiar with Braille so much. So it still uses the Braille display, it still uses the cells and the dots, but uh, it, it just uses them in a very different manner. Uh, and... Uh, the, the notation of each of the dots just changes. So you just have to get familiar with how the time is displayed and uh, and you can master that very, very easily. So, and, and I think because of that, this is such a great example of universal design where uh, anyone and everyone can really take advantage of this watch and just uh, make it a way of life for them and you know use it on a daily basis. Uh, so yeah, definitely consider, check out this watch if, if you think uh, you need this or this would be helpful for you or your loved ones. Uh, check it out and let us know how it goes. Let us know what you think of this watch uh, in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.